versus Slavs. Enjoy. After the yeah, you probably be fit back in the This is one of the reasons though, like fans have got their own sides and they, they obviously their own things and they obviously everybody supports whoever they support and I, I get it, like it's great, that's what makes it competitive and fun, you know. We're all not going to be in agreement with whatever happens and you know what, that's what always happens, right. But, yeah, let's get underway. You have got some beautiful, beautiful names in here. You've got Tenje Mask Frames, you've got Lexus in here. There is no Corn Berserker though for this one. Jackie Train is in here as well. They've got Pikes, Iron Reaper, Silidars. We're going to stop the music as well because we don't need any more of that playing as it is. Um, are we underway? We're going to have no Sally out by the looks of it. It's all infantry base for the attack and the defense. They split the, uh, the defenders and the attackers. And it's a bit different here, strategy uh, standing wise here and where they're starting off. <laughs> Ferrari probably cheating again with Carbonate. Uh, this season is really entertaining. Yep. Exactly. It's all about the win and the, the what do I mean? There we go, let's sim up and let's get out. Here we go on the map. We are, hello wifey. Oh, okay. What's up? Uh, sorry lads, the wife had to speak to me there, but let's see, let's see what we're going to see here. We're going to zoom in a little bit, I don't know what's happened to the camera, it feels a bit weird. It's slower just now. We'll figure it out though. So far, Surf Slayers finding positions, taking down the Fingways as the Siege Tower falls down on the uh, the defending side here. I've been using the artillery to defend that and uh, make sure the Siege Towers go down. This is a... Uh, Going to be an interesting strategy. They're starting to climb up the walls here. You've got some dual blades away in here. As the, it looks like the siege tower will go up, um, and we'll see what happens here. Yeah, Ricardo washed up as well. Very true. Very true. Um, Serslers breaking down the gate, so they're going to get an entrance way in there, guaranteed without it being closed behind them here. Um, but for the most part, nobody really doing anything exciting as they stand here. I'm hearing a sound bug for sure. That's really annoying me. Sorry about that sound, but guys, I'm going to move away from it, see if that's going to solve the issue. There we go. Sound bug is gone, because that was annoying. There we go. Figured out why. Different battle, there we go, different thing. We good luck to Serves, good luck to both the teams, good luck to both teams, Slavs uh, and Serves Slayers. It's going to be an interesting matchup. You've got EU2 players for the most part on the Slav side versus EU1, and you've got all oh, Corn Berserker is in there, so the any pl player of Corn Berserker, Wex is a any player as well, and they're starting to make their way in through the gateway. They're looking at the supply point thing, way they're going to come up and try and disrupt the units that are all defending on the wall, which is very interesting from Slavs. They've got units all on the wall to defend both A and B point. Are they thinking they could defend the both points to avoid 
anybody even having to defend C whatsoever and use that rotations back and forward. There is cavalry out for some people. No, there isn't really. There's not very much cavalry from both sides here. Oh, John Ark, there we go. A little, little hero is falling off the wall. Ridgers, I don't know what he's thinking, but everybody's going to pick him up. Tinjeff goes over him, but Kara gets up the kill. He picks up the first kill. So far, everybody's starting to push up this far right siege tower and the left siege tower have both made it up the wall. They're going to try and push as quickly as they can as heroes to try and stop these units and distract the units as much as possible. Call in the treb early and the boys from Slavs are wise to it and move their units away from the treb. So it's a completely missed treb there from everybody. The boys of Cerslers are ready on the uh, siege tower, ready to move as they start moving. Slavs start moving. So it's very well organized together team wise. They're moving really well together. And it's going to be interesting now. Surf Slayers all on the wall. Every single buddy is on the wall. Nobody elsewhere on the map. But they're all starting to push together as one here. We'll zoom in on this fight here as it starts. They're starting to push the Siladars out here. Lots of the units moving forward. They're calling in the trebuchet. Corn Berserker with the treb as the units of EU start to move. Uh, EU2 from Slavs start to move away from that. The treb comes in and misses everything. But they go around the back to the units at the back of the wall here. Everybody's heroes are starting to move around. Slavs are going to rotate it around. Van Blade falls to his death here. Slavs are trying to rotate it around here and kill the, the units of Iron Reapers as the Treb comes in. This is exactly what the Cerslayer boys want you to do. They want you to rotate their units over there to avoid uh, to actually hit the Treb. And as it happens, it's still quite close here with unit-wise. But the heroes on the defending side are dying quicker. They're down to 11 heroes versus 14 on the attack. The fight is going on the A point here as Cerslayer start to take out heroes one by one here, they're down to 11 heroes, but 13 heroes now on the attacker side. So a couple of heroes traded back and forward there. The advantage is in Cersei. They're going to get onto the point. They're pushing off the heroes. General Combo is going to have to get out there. He will fall to his death here, and they will be useless here. General Combo is picked up. There's too many heroes fighting him here. They're slowing him down, and he will fall to his death. As Yo uh, Poyeb is also again picked up by all the boys of Cersei here. Plenty of people in there as... Chonk, I don't know what he's thinking. Why are they starting to go back up on top of them? Slavs, you're sending yourself into death and you're slowing them down for no reason here. At this point, you're losing hero deaths and they're down to nine on the defense. Slavs, Slavs, Slavs got full 15 starting to make their way. As A is being capped, they will start to make their way towards B. Josek trying to go back towards the defensive side. You've got Van Blade who's came back up from the other side here, trying to stop the A push. It is very, very interesting strategy here. They're sending the heroes, and they're sending more heroes on the defense here to try and kill them up on the A point here. The units are coming in. Palace Guard's coming in with a charge here. Will they be able to charge and brace as the Treb comes in, but it's going to hit nobody at this point. The Treb comes in, and it's going to hit the back of the units of uh, Oh, the Treb actually picks up Lixu and it kills the other hero there. A couple of heroes fall to the Treb. It's 11 v 11. The units are fighting on the point of A here. And Cerslers are starting to wipe out more heroes again. It's 11 versus 9. Unit-wise, there are so many units died so far already just defending these two points. But Slavs have managed to get back onto the point and managed to get the unit advantage and the hero advantage because of the spawn point. Cerslers so going to have to go back to their supply point, get some more units and think of a second push here. It has been an interesting battle. You guys still going on about <laughs> all the F1 drama, but good to see you guys chatting in chat. You don't hear anything in game as well? It should be on. It should be sound. I don't know why you're not hearing it. Is, is that maybe it? It seems like I'm not hearing it very loudly. There's like a sound bug. I don't know why. Maybe if I do that and do that again. Yeah, I, d I don't know what's happened with the sound. Sorry, guys. I will have a look at that in just a second. The push comes in here. We'll try and sort it out for the next one. I'm trying. To, I can't sort it out in the middle of a stream. Sorry, guys. Sorry for that. The push is coming here. Grim calls in the treb. The tr charge comes in at perfect timing for the Palace Guards to avoid it here. Senji's... Oh no, it's the Cycle Militia with the bombs here coming in on top. It is 735 units on the attackers versus 
569 in the defense. There is more of an advantage for the Cerslers guys here for unit wise, but hero wise, it's going to 1 minute 55 seconds left and they've not managed to cap A. They really need to make a push on the A point here. The whole push has been A this whole time. The Trebs are just not working in their favor, but they're wiping off heroes. They're going to have to get on the point as A gets capped and they're down unit wise. The heroes are back on the point. They are doing a great job of this here. Slavs winning this one so far with 1 minute 34. It only needs a second though for Sarah Slayers to get that cap and it looks like they will get the cap as it does two minutes extra if we've got added on to that we're at to three minutes here and they're going to have to rotate towards B very quickly here because they did put in a full fight there and unit wise is getting very very close there they need to push one of these points here cersei has got the advantage it's 11 versus 5 Tinjev going for the C point they're going to have to try and grab C point here it is a very difficult situation with three minutes left of this it is a very good hold from Slavs holding that supply point here but they're going towards B and Tinjev is there with a couple of heroes going to defend C. A is uh, taken already. B is being taken now though. A couple of heroes to defend that point. Will they rotate up to B in full defend B point and the supply point here because supply point looks like they have the hero advantage for Cerslayers and B will still be capped. Corn Berserker falls to his death here but we've got an overwhelming amount of numbers of Cerslayers on the supply point here. One short sword, holding off as long as possible. Jozik holds on for as long as possible. Quad kill going towards Tinjev. But the attack inside of Cerslers have five players extra and 133 units difference here. The push is doing well here. Now they've got to defend C. 400 units versus 533. Seven trebs available for the attack inside. They have four minutes to take C and push towards home point here. It is a potential chance to Slavs defending this pretty well here considering the amount of people that were fighting and dying on that point on both sides Slavs have managed to hold on pretty well lots of cavalry coming out here for the attacking side you've got three units of cavalry out and you've also got plenty of units coming to attack the Slavs Slavs are going to try and get self sought up here and try and find a flank here in this position Corn Berserker, Jackie Train and Mass Flames all pike players going around the back side here as the push comes towards they start to move the ISGs forward and will they be able to take out the units that are around that corner? It looks like the the units are getting taken out and it's going in favour of Cerslayers here. A good calf charge comes in. Couple of heroes die to that one there. We're down to 14 here. Tile is dead. Couple of heroes having to stay alive as much as possible. The Modal is defending the back flank though from General Combo. That's a great, great effort. Jackie Train's coming back round here. The fight and the IPG march coming in here. Here comes the cavalry from Surf Slayers as they start to wipe out heroes. A quad kill from Onyx here. We're down to 10 heroes alive. Make that 9. Make it 8 after the calf charges come in. Couple of heroes fall into that. Lixu falls down. Tinjev gets the comrades. We are capping C. Surf Slayers. Killing heroes quicker than they can react to it. And Slavs are going to have nobody left here at this point. We're down to five heroes. And they're picking off another hero as things stand. Poyeb, General Combo and Sarvo with no units. No heroes. They're going to have to defend the home point. Because everybody from Cerslers are moving towards the home point. They have 14 heroes here versus four. It will be a straight set up. Ready with modals. Ready with their units to def straight cap the point. Only three heroes alive. Cerslers turn this game around. They have a hundred, a three hundred unit advantage here, and they are set up to defend the point. Corn Berserker with the cavalry on the side, and you've got plenty of boys defending the home point. They're going to be able to cap the supply point, and there's not going to be time for the heroes to come back alive and take this point. It was a fantastic defense from Slavs, but the movement speed after capping A eventually worked in the favor of Cerslers. It has been a very very interesting fight there. Very interesting. As you can see from the prediction, 92% of you voted for Cerslers to win that. It didn't look like it was going that way, but eventually the tide turned in favour of Cerslers. They go on to be valiant winners on their attack. Jackie Train with the MVP, 3 hero kills, 17 assists, 77 unit kills. Kara with 7 hero kills, 87 units. Tinja picking up 6, Corn Berserker picking up 6, and... No name Onyx picking up five there. So a good performance for the heroes. Killing out the heroes, but it is very good. Post-match analysis will show that in just a second. But Skurwo, Dactyl with the MVP on the defending side of Slavs. It was 79 hero uh, unit kills, three hero kills. 
But hero kills wise, it was definitely in favour of the boys, of Ser Slayers. And as you can see, they're so close. Like There's so much fighting going on in the A point. And the Slavs just run out of time. Like, if they held for that a little bit longer, that was theirs. They could have had it. It was down to less than a minute for A to be capped. But because they only needed a second to do it, they managed to survive it and do it. But overall... An amazing effort, an amazing effort. Look at that hero kills, though. 30 hero kills extra in favour of Serslayers uh, to win that battle. And units, there's uh, almost 300 units difference as well. So very good effort from Slavs. But Serslayers, you've done a fantastic job. You guys go on to get the point from that one. That is at least a point for this battle here. You guys might win this one outright. We'll wait and see what happens here.